Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to enjoy and listen to information regarding body language and nonverbal communication. The words our body speak outside of our conscious awareness and how we tell the truth through our bodies. What you've come across is a place where we can discuss and delve into essentially how to read the mind of an individual. If you enjoy what you hear and you want to learn more, please click subscribe. And without further ado, we'll continue to the lesson. So today's lesson is going to be regarding a behavior of the face. So when you're talking to someone or if you're watching someone react to something, whether it be a thought that crosses their mind or something external, which you can both take in. Today's lesson is going to be regarding lip compression. As you can see in the photo, you should be able to start to form an idea on what lip compression is. Uh, it's also known as tight lips and disappearing lips. Okay, so that's tight lipped and disappearing lips. All right, uh, it's usually a negative cue. Lip compression is a tense mouth display. Okay, it can signal anger, discomfort, grief, sadness, uncertainty, and or dislike. So there isn't one positive thing which it may indicate. So if you see this sign in communication with yourself, you need to ask yourself, is it something you've done which has provoked that response? All right, now this behavior can be as brief as a micro gesture it could be as brief as one twentieth of a second okay so if you're on the ball and you're able to pick that up then you really do have a high degree of nonverbal understanding because that's fast but you can see it if you pay attention and you observe and you learn to look for the signals you will be able to see it all right when we are normally relaxed and receptive, the lips will make a gentle contact and the teeth behind those lips will be slightly separated, all right? Whereas lip compression is where the upper and the lower lip form a tight seal, all right? Essentially a mouth blocking behavior. It can, let, 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 let's say you are in a conversation with an individual and you reference something that that person doesn't want to talk about, okay? Now, you might normally take it as the person not knowing anything about what you're discussing. But if you are to see this behavior in the, in the individual where the lips come tight and the lips almost disappear, like glue, like they're glued together, you can perhaps have a hunch and listen to your intuition and your newfound information and learning of nonverbal communication and think, wait a minute, maybe they're holding something back here. Now, from there, it's up to you if you want to probe further and see if you can unglue those lips or just take it as it is and take it into consideration. It's the least you can do, all right? As we know, the body speaks way more honestly than the words, the mouth expresses okay words and verbal behavior comes from the conscious mind all right that's a completely different aspect to communication which you need to comprehend the real communication comes from the body and what the body expresses all right it'll speak so much more honestly and you'll be able to understand when you start analyzing that behavior so the lips disappear and could accompany a downwards turn at the edges all right so to double up on the compression of the lips there could be a slight frown in there as well all right that's self-explanatory it's not positive sign full stop okay so to re-clarify what it could signify it can signify anger discomfort dislike grief sadness or uncertainty Okay. Sometimes the lips can be compressed so much 
that the blood is squeezed out and they change colour. Alright? Such as when an individual clenches their fist to a point where the blood circulates elsewhere. The same happens with the lips under a harsh compression. You have to take serious care and pay attention to this sign. When you watch the television or when you gen generally communicate, you'll start to see this happen more often, all right? So to finish off on one last example, you're negotiating a deal. You're buying a new car, okay, with a salesperson. And you say, how much is that car? And they say, that's 2,500. And you say, can you do 2,300? And in response, their lips tighten. This is an example of how you need to start paying attention to clusters and how individuals act on a complete scale from the top of their head down to the tips of their toes because just looking at their lips in this particular situation will tell you that there's a degree of discomfort but it's up to you to read the whole picture and understand whether it's anger at you for asking the question maybe they've had a bad day maybe they've thought of something that's happened in the past discomfort which sort of covers the emotions that could be felt I suppose regarding grief, sadness, uncertainty, dislike there's definitely a discomfort that's been engaged and triggered through the question you just understand what, what it is Hopefully it's not a dislike of you, but more so a withholding of information. Yes, they can do it cheaper. But then from you, you need to probe and understand and unglue them lips. Okay? When you state what somebody is thinking, such as, I know you can do cheaper, they'll wonder, how did you ever know? But you knew through this information. Okay? So to... Finish off, click subscribe, keep in touch, plenty more lessons to come. By the end of it, you're going to be able to understand and apply this information to your every single day-to-day -day encounter for the rest of your life. It is a superpower, and you will be able to learn it very easily. I hope you enjoyed. Please click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.